Hi everyone, and welcome to the next episode here. Um, all right. Ooh, got some breaking going on here. Hmm. Bit confusing. Uh, right, there was some uh, there were some fixes I need to do because uh, I worked out we have a problem. A big problem. Uh, I missed out a tile on the beat pump, and it's made an absolute mess. Uh, I only watched that by re-watching the, the VOD I made last time. Unfortunately, do a bit of editing. So I missed a tile here, and I think someone did say so in the live chat, but I didn't understand them. So um, we need that tile to make the bead pump work, so we'll fix that. And hopefully that might make this work. I, I think that could be part of the issues we've got here. Um... In terms of what else we were doing, the space-wise, okay, uh, we're sending people out to mine, so we're mining this, going out to the Gilded, and we're just about to cycle off getting on the Water Planetoid, which is good. Um, what I did want to double check was Saturn uh, 15, uh, Wolf and Ellie, are either of these guys, um, uh, they're scientists, because I'm going to need to find, do some guys, so no, they are not. Also, what I haven't done is gotten to turn this off, so they shouldn't really be in suits. Okay, good. Uh, okay, good, we've got... Oh, we've only got one spare one. Okay, that's rather annoying. Hmm, this could be a problem. That's only on 28% durability. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we'll go with it. We'll see if uh, one of them could end up stuck inside the rocket for a while. Hiya, Horio. Good to see you. Uh, right. You've been uh, catching up with the VODs. I've seen you in the in the comment sections. The uh, All the mess with the... Uh, um, the sour... Uh, with the petroleum boilers. <laughs> Now, I've just had to reopen this up because uh, I've realised I missed this on the bead pump, which I think I was saying in the Discord. Um, yeah, that, uh, why is this? What? Why is this flooded? I don't know what's going on here. Is there some ice here that was? Hmm. I definitely want to drain some of this away, or we're going to have problems, aren't we? Uh, can we do that? Do that. Yes, the uh, the nightmare petroleum boiler, which um, is still here. I might uh, have a look at that because I've been uh, looking at petroleum boilers very carefully. Right, so the beat pump work. Okay, it's still not quite yet because that needs going. Yeah, I've been looking at them closely for the uh, tutorial bite and. Uh, um, yeah, this does this designs. I don't know why this is so far down. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Exactly. We've. I'm pretty sure there were some bugs we we ran into that just didn't didn't make any sense to me. But um. Anyway, we we survived. Um. We're still good. I mean, the really annoying one was the uh, the oxalite disappearing on the magma planetoid. I mean, that's really not what you want. Go, go, go. Okay, so is the bead pump working? Yeah, so the bead pump's working now. So what I think might have happened is... Uh, is I think that with the bead pump not working, um, we had way too much uh, gas sticking in this uh, area. And then that was uh, absorbing too much heat. I think that was the issue. I don't know. Not 100% sure. So I'm hoping this fixes it. Um, if it doesn't, then we're into uh, moving this uh, this aqua tuner into here. Okay, and of course Himawari has blocked himself in. Uh huh. I mean, you know, why wouldn't you build it from that side? That definitely makes sense. Yeah. What's flooding? 
This is still flooding. What? How is this flooded with a hundred grams? Game's going nuts. This is flooded. Okay, now this is great. Oh dear. This is basically freezing and then then unfreezing and breaking. Or is it? I don't know. The water's just pushing out. Now don't build that in there yet. Mm-hmm. I'll give it some more space. Is that gonna stabilize it? Catalina's suffocating for some reason. Slime lung, yep, usually the one. Another couple of slime lung problems. Right, so the bee pump's working now, so I'm, I'm hoping this is going to significantly um, reduce the the gas in here. And then that will help it heat more efficiently. And we won't have all these problems. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. So we're at about 650, and the issue was this wasn't maintaining enough heat. So we were losing heat out of here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping it stays stable. Okay, yeah. I don't. Under I still don't understand how this is flooded. I'm absolutely baffled by that. This is under 74 grams of water and it's flooded. Does that make any sense? Output. Okay, yeah, there you go. It was just 70 grams of water that was doing it. Anyway. It's me. This game is definitely bugged. Right. And I really don't want to leave these guys here because this is going to be the important one. So... Let's stick Wolf down now. Uh, in terms of height, I think we're good anywhere, so we may as well land up here. We'll go for the top. Uh, and always, always wait to land one before I land the second, because I've definitely had it bug out before, where uh, one of them doesn't uh, doesn't get out if you send both at the same time. So that's why I do them one at a time. We'll just send both down, get the rocket platform, and then what we're going to do with this planetoid is, well, ultimately we need to um, colonize it. Uh, now, how exactly we do that is going to be the million dollar question. Definitely get that done. Uh, how many tiles we got? I think we should have 37, and don't worry about it. Ooh, 37. Yeah, we do. Okay. So if we put the rocket platform on here, we can probably go up like that. Let's do that. Use the sandstone. Okay, rocket platform. Yeah, three double check that. I think that's right. That's 37, perfect. Let's get that dug. Yeah, and then we've got to work out what to do with this. Um, I mean, we probably just do a bit of exploring. We might try and bring back some... I don't know, do we need to bring back lime or graphene? I don't think we need... Well, we don't need the graphene, really. We're, we're well good on, um, on that. Uh, wrangle that. This joint plate's overheating. Overloading. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. That's another thing we've got to fix, the overloading here. Um, I think the answer to that is... Oof. Try and liquid lock this in, but I don't actually know how we could do that with this mess of wires. Uh, but sorry, I'm getting distracted again. So, right, this one was fixed. Yeah, what was I just doing? Um, graphene, right, uh, steel production. So we're down on lime, but we still have loads of fossil, right? Did I, I haven't set these, have I? If I set those to fossil, we can get that going. So we've got... 400 tons of fossil. Um, there is space for a liquid lock. It's just the uh, the heavy what 
wires make it a bit difficult um, to seal it in. But we're going to have to seal it in somehow because I, I need this vacuum jointed. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to maneuver the wires, like it's saying. Um, I wonder if we could just uh, firstly jump this up rather than uh, across and across and then what I can probably do is stick in a joint so if we do it like this and we joint plate uh, so temporarily put one that's too low really we're going to need to joint plate across here then I won't be able to mm. yeah this is going to be tricky it's going to be tricky how do we um, how do we do that? No, let's build that and have a think about it. I'm kind of focusing on these guys over here for now. Are they tall enough? I don't know. Build some more. And then we'll go exploring, right? And that. It's an easy. Ooh. Hopefully I've got that high enough for them to get back in. And you've got to reset the crew, which is really annoying. Don't forget to do that. Hmm, one at a time. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so these guys are fine in here now. So... Just trying to think what the goal for this planetoid is. I mean, number one, we need to... Um, research the geysers, so I know how to space this. And then... Uh, number two two we then need to clear all the water out which we can use a initial waterfall on that's not going to be a problem uh radiation levels so i'm thinking if we there's some sand there if we come down like this uh, and then a little bit convoluted but we'll just stick a ladder down there and go like that and we might have to uh, dig some more stuff so let's send them out this way and then basically we'll just explore this for now and then we'll work on um work on colonizing it okay so that's coming in here all right i'll just check that before i jump on that i just want to check the sour gas boy so much sour gas everywhere so this was 650 and it's still 650 there might have been no power come on there uh right okay we've been building up a load because yeah was that not gonna no okay that's the wrong one but disconnected it from the main grid and i think because we lost so much sour gas to to the atmosphere we're just gonna have to reconnect it to jump start it basically which is gonna overload everything 40 43 kilowatts potential load oh my all right we'll do that to keep it on um but yeah it's keeping up it's keeping up this yeah so what's oh okay so this broke Which has caused a whole lot of problems. Okay, let's catch that. Yeah, it's the yeah. Stuff breaks, stuff breaks. So it's, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off, basically. This is, let's turn it off, fix it, and then turn it back on. Oh dear. I mean the, yeah, this is this is the way sour gas boilers go at the end of the day. Um, you can't really be surprised at this. But also this isn't getting cold enough, which is uh, a bit worrying. And if I turn it on, this is going to get... Mm. Oh, it's still on. Why is it still on? I don't know where it's getting power from. Yeah. Hmm.
I'm just going to build this out of steel and then uh, it can't break. Mm -hmm. button. Okay. Sweep the copper. There's some uh, solid carbon oxide there too. Yeah, the bee pump is it is pulling a lot of gas out. Yeah, um, but it should be there should be enough power to condense it. That's the thing. Um, maybe I just chucked too much through in one go. That was, might be the problem. Because there was a giant build up in that area. And then it pushed it all through in one go, rather than coming on smoothly. That's also a mess. Oh dear, everything's a mess. I'm not not loving it. Not loving it. Uh, right. So we got water geyser over here. So well, I don't have enough uh, sandstone. I'm gonna focus on going down. Focus on going down, and then. Uh, Get across to that. Just to take some more sounds there. Okay. I'm gonna have to reset this filter, this valve. I mean, ultimately, I don't think you actually need the valve, but I include it anyway. Um. But yeah, I mean, this is this is venting now. So I think if we vent it, hopefully we'll be all right again. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, and radioactive. So that's closed up. So I think radioactive is all right. Um, right. And I did have a think about this as well. So uh, I have a plan. I have a plan for this planetoid. Um. So we can, uh, I think we should close this off. One, two, three, there. Really, we should get this closed off. This is a cool, that's a cool one. So we can put whatever material we want. And we have a little bit of refined metal. I think we chuck some through. And we'll pour a little power bar out there. And liquid one out there. Cool. We'll leave it to them to do that. Yeah, this is definitely the challenge with Space Out. I'm now managing, well, three planetoids. Uh, ah, definitely want that. Food-wise, I'm just hoping to get this, uh, get this back. Uh, it's full of hydrogen, which I'm not entirely sure where that's come from. Hopefully it hasn't come out of here, that's still liquid locked. What's that? There's barely hydrogen here though. Something's definitely gone on with this, uh, with those Streco rooms. Who made a mess? Ellie. Oh, because it's grounded. Okay. Yeah. I remember that one. Cool, anyway. Should be fine. Oh, okay, so they've kind of finished on that now. Don't want that. Let's get in here and then. Um, just thinking we should S dig this. Um, S digging is a very effective way of getting down. And yeah, if we S dig it and then build the ladder later, that's fine. We've got loads of oxalite here, so we're definitely not going to. I'm going to run out of oxalite. Uh, I'll stick a little ladder over there and see if I can get him to... Look at that. Okay, that's the edge of the map there. I'll just put one over here, then they'll go for that. And do the exploring. Um, let's say we have really need a scientist down there, so I, I took the wrong crew, really. That's... Uh, uh, that was my bad on that, I didn't think... Yeah, there's still a lot of sour gas in here. There's so much sour gas. There's like 14 kilos per tile just in the space biome here. Mm. Okay, it's kind of. Mm. It's kind of out of power, but it's getting power. It's getting power from the steam turbines, right? I see. That's still powering the uh, aqua tuners. Uh, I don't want these to start causing damage because that's going to be fun if they do. 
yeah, just venting huge amounts of uh, sour gas, really. Okay. Whoa, the save. The save. Is that done? Yeah, and uh, Abe's going to lock himself in. You can see that one coming. Okay. Oh, no, I've got liquid sulfur. That should refreeze anyway. Uh, let's turn it back on, I think. Turn it back on and set the oil back in before these damage. Look at how much that cools it. Even a tiny bit of oil that suddenly goes from... Uh, Okay, there's liquid aluminium here too. I, I mean, that's not great. There probably shouldn't be liquid aluminium here. I'm gonna pump the sour gas back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of want it out because I'm slightly worried that this isn't able to cool it, as in there's too much. So I, I want rid of it because the system won't work. Yeah, that. Yeah, liquid aluminium seems to be a theme in this uh, this playthrough. Not not in. Intentionally. There you go. Um, yeah, so the thing is, the coolant is not getting cool enough. Hmm. I'm not generating enough chill now. Though it's going down. Okay, it's going down. Good. It's just really slow because it's a giant loop. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, in the meantime, what's this? Okay. Hmm. But the liquid, this liquid uh, sulfur is going to stop everything from. Doing. I might have to open it. Yeah, the, I had some aluminium uh, heavy watt conductive waters in there and they all melted. Alright, these guys, they're too quick. Or they, okay. No, up in there. That's a bit odd. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, there's nothing over here. So there's one water geyser there. There's one cool slush there. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, what I also did realise here, thanks to someone who commented, that um, pips can't plant in abyssal light, so that's a good thing to know. So we have to replace those, which is a bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Still got a bit of a gap here. We'll get those done. Um, gap here, so we just fill in the gaps with the hydroponics. Water pressure. Uh, oh, right. Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> there are bubbles going up. Okay, and then we can just build across that nice and easy. And, yeah. Cool slush down there, so there's two here we found so far. And then down we go. Gotta find the bottom. Right, over here we're okay. We're gonna start uh making those natural tiles. Oh, got a bit of a dead spot here. I hate it when that happens. It doesn't cause us a problem later. Do 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 Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is this is just not chilling. Or it is, or it is chilling, it's just chilling very slowly. Okay, well this is stable. Hmm. I may just have to vent it. It's going down, it's going down very slowly. This was minus 160 we need to get it to. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to break this and then uh, try and vent some out of here, see if we can uh, help decrease the temperature by removing some thermal mass. We might have gotten away with this if we hadn't, uh, if hadn't made a mistake in the first place, but we help. Problems making problems. I'll fix it. What's... Uh... Uh, why is this unreachable? Huh? Don't tell me the all the atmospheres. Okay, atmospheres are up now. Maybe wait a bit. 
It's also yeah, it's hot outside, but there's too much mass. It, I need to keep chucking more mass in to cool the aqua tuners to uh, cool the system. So I've got to I've got to get rid of some mass. That's fine. Then this uh, this will allow this to drop down quicker because it's cooling less gas. Yeah, it, if you just keep trying to run it, it's it's not going to work. It needs something here. Yeah. Stream. Put that on. I think we're going to be pretty close on the durability of one of the suits here, so uh, one of them may well get stuck on the rocket. What's the? Does it? Where's well, the suit durability is on here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so just build that down, keep exploring, and then yeah, we'll work out how to how to colonise it long term. Okay, so this is now down to minus one twenty. You know, I think once we once we stabilise it, then we can just uh, close it back up, and we should be good. The question is, is the sulphur ever gonna? Um, ever going to go or is it just going to sit there forever? I'm thinking the latter at this point, so let's do it this way. 100 kilos. I don't know if this is going to help or hinder at this point. <laughs> as long as it's going down, I think we're happy. Let me get it back and running again. Oh dear. Oh, it just re-solidified. Just as I open it up, it re-solidifies anyway. Uh, let's, uh, let's grab it anyway. What a good idea. <laughs> Game's trolling me. I'll tell, tell you that much. It's just, just waiting to get me. Okay. Yeah, we keep going down here. We've found the um, found the bottom of this now, which is good stuff. Uh -huh. Let's keep going like that. Now we're gonna have a morale problem though as well because this uh, uh, you lose the uh, Great Hall bonus when I swap this, so that's not ideal. Let's be careful of that. The stress will start going up. Swap it back when we're okay. Okay, I think we can close it up, although this is still not cool enough. Um, No, I'm not alt-tabbing. Uh, I wonder if that's a connection issue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not doing anything. Oh, apologies. Hey, the um, I think the vods will be alright because I'm recording locally as well. So, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be alright. Um, uh, Maybe there's something going on for my Twitch, I don't know. I mean, it looks okay to me, I'm not seeing any problems on this side. Right, minus 143. And we're just on temperature watch again. Uh, this is the way with the sour gas boilers. Right, what else was going on? So, I was trying to work this out. Okay, now this one's overloading as well. How do we do this? Um... I think step one is we oh we want to join that okay okay so step one is uh, swap this bridge over and then I think we join it up here and I think if we if we do a reroute like this we can make it work um, hmm. Hi Chase, good to see you. You haven't been in for a little while. I've been 
in Discord, you've been commenting, but uh, I've not seen you in the in the stream. How are you doing on a Friday? And I hope the stream's all right as well. It's uh, it's holding up. Whoa. I'm, we're, we're fixing electrical problems uh, because these are heavy watt, and I'm overloading heavy watt joint plates. So we need uh, conductive everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we're also going down the water planetoid. Okay, we'll sort it. Yeah, stress is going up slightly here. So we need to send some researchers out here. Get that done. All right. Okay, so my plan is do that, right? Ooh. Yeah. You you will see my genius here, except that I haven't done that. Uh, that one off. This is this is how we're gonna do it. Right. We're, we're gonna try and keep the power continuous. <laughs> oh no, I didn't think that through at all, did I? Okay. No, this is going to work. What am I thinking? Uh, try that. <laughs> I don't see how this is going to work. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Uh, I just got to get it up and over. Okay, okay. So now we can delete this. Okay. It's still overloading. Now what am I doing today? So uh, the water planetoid, which is my lovely stream title, um, we're over here. So um, we're doing that. We need to scope it out for uh, colonization. And trying to fix the sour gas boiler, which is causing us endless problems, as always. Um, And uh, do we need more food? We're, we're continuing on with the second planetoid, trying to get um, trying to get the farm built. So this is going all right, and we're trying to capture the uh, capture these. Uh, so I'm just trying to manage the three planetoids. Uh, why isn't this upgraded? Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to fix this overloading issue because it's uh, it's too much. Right. So if I tile across there, and then I joint plate. I need a joint plate in here somewhere, don't I? I can put it here. To do that, that. Oh god. Uh. That, that, that. That. Uh, I don't know what's going on. That. Right, we're definitely going to overload something doing this. Delete that. How's this? Yeah, okay. Uh. Yeah, jutes wise, I, I don't know. Um, I'm still food limited, which is the problem. I'd, I want more dupes. Um, but the, the food's not going up. And I'm relying on the sour gas boilers for it with the current plan. Um, 
I was doing Pakus actually last time, so um, yeah, which you can see we're making a mess of here. Jeez. Uh, where's this going? Drywall. Oh god, just wasting water into space. Yeah, the 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 target. Well, the minimum target is four hundred, and then hopefully six hundred. But I'm kind of doubting my computer's gonna gonna handle that. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, this in terms of these couple of episodes, I mean, it's just it's a lot of mega builds that we're doing. Uh, we got to get food. Food is holding us back from more dupes, so. That's why we're going to have to spend quite a while building up these systems. I think there are quicker ways to do it, but uh, I'm having fun with the mega builds. Okay, oxygen's fine. That's planned. I think we're okay over here. Someone's unreachable food. Jace, you've got no food. What have you done? You've stuck yourself. Do you have any rock? No? Jace, you're stuck. Come on. Oh, great. And now they can't get over this. Jeez. Great. Okay, meanwhile, we're still just overloading, you know. You guys get out. Biscuits is, like, literally going to run out of oxygen. Okay. Still can't get out, apparently. Biscuits can't move from there. Why can't you get over here? Oh, because that's too... It's too high. I try not to kill you. Cycling the command through 200 dupes. Yeah, it's uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Right, so these joint. Oh, how do we do this? I'm really struggling to work this out for some reason. Um. I'm, str I'm just really struggling in my brain to enclose this. Yeah, yeah, we got the sandstone. I, why, um, why can't I work this out? Need to... I can close that off. Right, and close that off. I need to close this side off. Okay. Hi, Cam. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to me struggling to work this out for some reason. If we um if we bottle empty of this. Uh except that's not gonna work. And that's not gonna work. Uh Okay, we'll have to bottle empty from up here. And then as long as we pass that through there, close that off, we should be fine, right? Oh god. Um, how you doing, Kev? Why is it overloading? Because we're drawing. Uh, what? Well, well, firstly, there's a there's a wire here which I forgot to change. Yeah, yeah, got that. Thank you. But also because the potential load is 37 kilowatts, which is more than the the heavy watt can take. Okay, how are we doing over here? Okay, we're still on minus 150, and we're loaded up on gas again, so... We need to do a bit more space venting. We need, yeah, we've overfilled it. Uh, yeah. Hi, uh, uh, Neo. Yeah, that, that is definitely causing the overloading right now, but the, um, these joint plates are also overloading. Uh, long term. So, yeah, we got to fix all of this. Oh god, there's too much stuff going on. 
What's going on here? These guys are just sat around doing nothing. Hmm, okay. So we've only got two water geysers here. That's not a whole lot. Uh, what well, we'll do... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. How much have got? 73. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Uh, stick that off aluminium and we'll put this on lime. Oh, now what is lime? Manufactured? No. Organic? Is it organic? I can't remember what lime is. Industrial ingredient. There we go. No, no. It's not that. Okay. What is lime? Kill the vol. Yeah, I could kill the vol. I'm trying to collect the vols. It's a con... Lime's a consumable ore. Okay, that's a... Uh... That was not where I was expecting to find that one. Hi, Leo Far. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Just about got it when you said it. Uh, yeah, okay. That's uh, weird. Anyway, we're going to bring Lime back. Uh, what we should also do is... I'm just break into this. We'll just woof straight down. Do we have... We've got six tons of sandstone. Just to explore it and... And we'll see what's down here. Yeah, thanks guys. I, mm, I'm confused as a consumable ore because I think of off-gassing stuff like polluted mud and um, uh, oxalite, bleach stone. I, that's all the consumable ore bit. Why is this out of power? Insufficient combustible liquid. Okay. So these have run out of power. Why have these run out of power? Because I've disconnected this and yeah, okay. This is holes are consumable. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so we've cut the power off to our our petroleum pump, which was kind of powering everything. So that was not so smart. Great, and now we're uh, what's in this out? Yeah, okay. I hate power. I hate power wires like this. It's such a pain. Come on. <laughs> right, uh, so what we'll do is... Then we just route this like this, yeah? Okay, we've got a bottle emptier up here. Anything can zoom an industrial machine. Mm, yeah. Don't even need that one. Uh, the save. These saves are getting longer, guys. Right, we should now have pump pump power, yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Our patrol is back online. That's good. Oh dear. What a pain. What a pain. Yeah. Where where are the vores? I thought I nabbed them. I, I put a wrangle on them. I can't see them now, anyway. Okay, so we're trying to fix that. And what uh, what priority is this? Right, okay, that's too high. Uh, priority 5, priority 6. Okay, and then this planetoid. I'm glad I've only got three. I mean, what am I supposed to do if I've got, like, six planetoids going? This is nuts. My brain's going to explode. Okay. Du, du, du. Yeah, this seems it seems like we're getting there now. Oh, come on, quick. So if we just jump it, why this is just constantly overloading now? Something's not right. Why is, is there's a little wire connected or something? Because this is this is overloading and it shouldn't be. Oh my god. Right, if chat wants to help me play, spot the one bit of wire in this giant circuit that is, that is not right. Then uh, that would be useful, oh my god. This has gone up again. Because this is losing power. You're into four, you don't have steel or plastic, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, everything's starting to fall apart a bit here. Okay, this is still overloading, so something's overloading this. I've connected something wrong. 
somewhere. I don't know what it is. That's all heavy lock conductive, yeah? That's heavy lock conductive. I haven't changed anything else. I haven't yet. I'm trying to get these last two, but this is overloading at 11 kilowatts. So there's clearly some normal wire or some, um, or some conductive wire, which is connected. It's not a heavy watt issue. Where is it? This is the only area I've been playing with. Jump, jump. Mm-hmm. That's not connected. Is there a wire? There's a wire inside the joint plate. Oh my god, you are joking me. Oh god. <laughs> this game's trolling me. This is absolutely trolling me. Right. <laughs> there you go. Put that I put that in the tutorial by. Oh jeez. This game. We love it. Love it. Right, uh, let's take a little bit of oil in here. Do we have oil about? No. Sure, uh, sure. Let's do that. That was obvious. I don't know why I didn't get that one sooner. Come on. This game, man. This game. Right, uh, pump. Steel. Uh, that's got power. This is an absolute mess. I have to rework all of this later. Um, here, why not? There, there. Yay! We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, it does. But I think the wire was still connected across it, so that was the problem. Okay. Cool. So now I've got our liquid lock. All good. Uh, am I going to be able to reach this or not? I don't think so. I have to probably build this in to reach it. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I built the joint plate over the wire, so it must have remained connected. Anyway, glad I found it. Right, there's no more buried geysers down here. There's some iron at the bottom, which would be nice, but not critical. Other than that, I don't think there's anything here. I'm surprised there's only two geysers on this planetoid. I thought there were more, usually. But, uh, there you go. I think we'll just uh, rob some lime and see how much we can get. I'm going to send one at a time. Okay, we've got... Well, we've already got a ton of lime. That, that's pretty good. Take that. Uh, yeah, so... Now I think we're getting heavy what? Yeah, uh, that's what I've been trying to do, Leofar. <laughs> that's caused all of this problem. Um, I've been trying to do this, but uh, in order to set up a, a vacuum room in here, uh, it's been very difficult because there's so much conductive wire just going everywhere. So I've been really struggling to uh, to lock it in. That is a mess. Um, we can tidy it up. Yeah, the mission is replace. Uh, we should be getting there now, so I think once that's built we can just vacuum it out and then uh, we're good to go. So I need to build another tile here. And then that should allow me to deconstruct my way in and reach that, and we're all good. Yeah, that's alright, no worries. Um, okay, so now these are overheated because the oil stop. Oh, okay, great. Stop. Stop! Oh god. So they've overheated, but it still isn't getting cold enough. Which is very confusing. There should be more than enough chill here. Where's my oil? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can try and fix them, or we can just leave them for now. If they're not broken, broken, we'll just leave them, I think. Come on. Chill, chill, chill. Mm -hmm. The... <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many side quests, this is a problem. I think we're, we're more or less done on this planetoid. I mean, um, well, what I could do is... Uh, get my way over here. So really, I should have brought a researcher, and I didn't think about that last time. Because uh, I want to analyse these. 
And then, um, have we got any metal ore? There's some iron ore down here. Uh, cause what I really want to do is um, set up an extra waterfall and just drain this whole thing. Which is going to be straight easy enough. The colony's 900 cycles. Okay. You're slightly ahead of me then. You're doing well. Okay, so that's cooled down enough, so... Oh dear. I'm just going to vent this for a while. Oh, he said and I. I don't know. Um, was there something to follow? Uh, we're going to vent that and we'll keep going with this. Uh, the ice has got to go. This light we've got to replace. Uh, there's an AETN here that's going to go. Uh, that's granite. That's ice. That's salt. I'm going to need another ladder. Yeah. Oh, no, not there. Got another ladder here. I've only been to th the three inner ones, so that I, I assume we're playing in a, a normal size spaced out DLC map. Um, the Yeah, the inner ones are easier to get to just because they're closer. What do we got on food? We're good on food. Good on oxygen. Um... Still only got one suit going, which is a bit annoying, so slowing us down. We're just grabbing the lime, and we'll get out of here and try and come back with a scientist. Yeah, so I'm kind of on the page here of just let this vent out. Then, uh, then we can get in it. I think the I think the bee pump was probably too effective. If anything, uh, it kind of pushed all the cooling to the limit. So we were having heating issues before, now we're having cooling issues. Uh, right, we've finally done this, which is the whole point. So let's get this deconstructed. Uh, rebuild those there. And then we'll rebuild this one as soon as we can. Obviously we'll, we're going to pull a load of steam in here, but... Sailor V, we'll have to live with it. Du, du, du. Should be able to get that one from below, to be honest, so... Mm. Well, this is going to kill our, um... It's going to kill our base power, isn't it? So we better do this quickly. Mm. Right. Do we lead? We'll do lead. <laughs> yes, Chase. No, they've just gone to an advert. So, uh, are you You're on Prime? Not. Okay, we've almost fixed this, but I've turned my base power off again. I think with this. So, uh, it's the blank screen ads. Ah, uh, it could be. It could be. Oh, you got um ad blocker on? Is that? Maybe we'll be it. Yeah, welcome back. Sorry, yeah, uh, yes, I am a clay ambassador now, well, gratefully. Um, so, pretty cool. I mean, for, for only, yeah, it doesn't mean a whole lot, tangibly. Um, for, uh, for DST, those staff together, I get, um, I get dropped enabled, which is pretty cool. And there's, um, here on mobile, okay. There's going to, this unreachable. Okay, jeez. Uh, yeah, there'll be some drops for DST um, next Thursday. They're starting again, so I may well move my um, DST st uh, stream to account for that. We'll see. We'll see. Well, my normal slots on Wednesday, and it feels a bit silly to uh, stream the day before that. Uh, that all goes live. See if everyone can jump in and get the new ones. Um, <laughs> are you are you being serious or are you joking? I can't tell by the thing, but I am now uh, ambassador in clay. Yep. So, I mean, why is this? This steam is just stuck here. It's 
not moving here. Is that because there's loads of liquid here? Right. Rather than the big but you do have ad block, yeah. Yeah, well I like say the, the the tangible benefits for being the clay ambassador are mostly focused around don't starve right now, I'd say. I think that's a fair statement. Hopefully Clay doesn't disapprove of that. But uh yeah. So you get drops if you watch my Don't Starve streams. What is this? This is just okay. So we're just pouring water back in in there, are we? Let's probably move this further away. Uh yeah. But uh, there you go, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I kind of wish there were a bit more for, for Oni, but it, it's hard to do anything. It doesn't have the... Um, it just doesn't have the same ability to do that like Don't Starve does, so... <sighs> See, I've got to sell you on it. You should um, you should definitely get Don't Starve. Then you can get drops when you watch me. You get, you get stuff. Oh, thanks. Right. Uh, so we've managed to collect three tons of lime, which is pretty cool, and let's... I think it's just time to head back. Let's go. And it's ready for you. Um, yeah, don't, don't Starve is a little bit more popular. I did double check the, um, the stats. Okay. Uh, it seems to have a roughly three times more players, at least peak anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, uh... It is the more popular game, from a, maybe from a numbers point of view. Um, and I can kind of see why, to be honest, because uh, you know, Oni is um, it's less approachable and it's more complex. Um, yeah, playtime for Oni is, is a lot longer. Yeah, I suspect that may well be the case. I think the people that do play Oni play Oni a lot more than the people that play Don't Starve play Don't Starve. But um. Yeah, the the viewer numbers I think are also similarly skewed towards don't starve. Um, come on, right, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> I say that's why I'm streaming both, and then um, yeah, in future we'll we'll see because uh, you know I want to keep the channel focused a bit. Um, I don't. I don't want to become pure variety streamer, you know, to stream anything, because I don't think that's great from an audience perspective, at least early on anyway, um, you yeah, which I'd still consider myself to be. But I do want to do some, uh, I do want to do some uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 whenever we can get our hands on that. Uh -huh. So that's kind of the other one that I would want to stream. There's more games that I want to play, but um, uh, play but not stream. Yeah, sixteen hundred hours. Yeah, exactly. You got more than me, Jay. So you can you can tell me what what to do. Okay, we're almost there now. For some reason, there's still a little bit of water just uh, getting stuck in here. I'm just. Uh... How is it? I don't understand how it keeps turning to steam. None of this is hot enough to steam anything anymore. And the numbers are going all over the place. Can we get it? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. My fake. Yeah, okay, it could probably be flaking. But yeah, you're. That is a fair comment. Uh, I think I might have left some people in space too. Oh, these guys have been out for way too long. It's the thing, right? So I've got to pay attention to all of those rockets and three planetoids. It's just... Yeah, okay, yeah. So, okay. Come on, come on, come on. These numbers are fluctuating all over the place. Very weird. Because it keeps condensing and uh, coming back. But it's going. It's going. And fairly quickly. Right, we're on the number watching game again. Just a slightly different set of numbers. Oh, the whole sour gas boiler. 
Yeah. You're microing. Yeah, I didn't play Meepo for good reason. I mean, I could kind of make an attempt at it, but like any hero. But uh, yeah, Meepo's tough. Meepo's tough. Uh, right. What's going on here? I generally avoided uh, micro heroes. Better do to chat. Right, let's turn this on, and hopefully we go. Hopefully we go, right, you, re you ready to go over one times? With four asteroids run, yeah. I mean, it's what we love about Spaced Out, but it's oh, it's so hard to manage all this stuff. It's constantly flicking around. Uh, trying to manage bits. I mean, I've got, like, too much stuff going on on one asteroid already, let alone the rest. You guys have seen me play. <laughs> uh... Hey, are we done? I think we might be done. Finally. Finally. Okay. Let's see if we can grab that. And we should be... Okay. We're still overloading, so there's some... Now we've got to play Hunt the Heavy Watt Wire. <laughs> um, okay. There's some Heavy Watt Wire somewhere. Uh, I don't think it's out here because we built this later. It's got to be somewhere in the core area that was old stuff and we left in. That's fine. Ah ha ha. Right. Oh, that's quite a lot that I haven't done. Okay, well we should do that. But I'm just changing those damn uh, damn joint plates over and I forgot all of these. It's going to work, is it? Okay. It's jugging. It's jugging. Okay. Well, we need to do those joint plates anyway, and oh, what a mess that was. Mm -hmm. 